It's, yeah. it's a reimagination. Yeah. Uh, biggest considerations is how do you make it modern without upsetting the fans of the previous previous games? Because when you say Castle Illusion, it, it brings out a lot of different emotions from players because it's a very beloved Sega Genesis game. Uh, so it's a very fine balance. So we kept the gamer game aspect of it. It's a very difficult platformer. It is. It's not really meant for kids. It's it's meant for uh, fans of the original, fans are of uh, very difficult, hardcore type games. Um, but we did some modernization in uh, the boss battles, they're fully 3D. So you transition from this kind of 2D gameplay that you're doing right now to full 3D arenas with very modern type boss battles. I'm pretty sure for new players, they're going to be a little surprised, uh, but definitely the fans of the original will expect this kind of game. Will expect a, a difficult game. I mean, we work very closely with Disney to, to make sure his mannerisms, his voice, his likeness, his animations, that's all correct. But the, the essence of the, game, of the gameplay is old school Genesis platforming. Oh, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, I mean, Mickey's very iconic. He has a lot of story and background and the, the, the original game lends itself. It's still, it's still very relevant uh, today. So yeah, I mean, working with Disney is great. Uh, they they gave us a lot of input, um, a lot of help. So there's a, there is a magic quality to the game that that feels very Disney at the same time. Uh, right now we're we're showing off two worlds, uh, Toyland and Disney's Castle. Um, most of the game is reimagined based on the similar structure of the of the first game. I mean, the, it follows the same story as the first game. So okay. Okay. Minnie is captured by Miserable, Mickey finds out that she's being held in the Castle Illusion. So your job is to rescue her in the Castle Illusion. And you pick up gems, you do all this kind of crazy stuff, and you unlock other parts of the castle. And you're making your way up to the top of the castle to save Minnie. I kind of feel like gamers, uh, in general, in the past couple of years, have been handheld. You know, press A to do this, press X to do this, press square to do that. And we don't really handhold handhold you because that's not the original game. Um, and I'm really kind of shocked at the skill level. <laughs> Some players, they're not really getting through it. But people enjoy it because it, it's a very fair game. You you understand why you die. Uh, it's not like you jump and then you get hit with something that you never saw or you fall into a pit that you didn't see. It's a very fair game. Um, when people do when people do pass, pass it, I can almost see this like sigh of relief from them. <laughs> Like oh my god! I like, I finally accomplished it or whatever, yo. Yeah. And that's that's the kind that's the kind of emotion that we want in games, you know. So I'm not, I'm not saying all games should be like that, but I know it's been missing for a while. Uh, a lot of a lot of hardcore games now. It's you know you're shooting somebody. 